So I think we've all felt it. The Battlefield 2042 hype train has been dying down just a little bit. It hasn't stopped, but it does feel as though it's pulled over for refueling. And that fuel comes in the form of EA Play. So it isn't too far away now. And on the 22nd of July, we'll finally get a bigger look at the star of the show, Battlefield 2042. Something I know we've all wanted since the reveal trailer. But what will we actually see at EA Play? And is there a chance that we may get some new information before EA Play even airs? We'll go over all of that in this video, but first, make sure you're subbed up for anything Battlefield. Here on the channel, I have a focus on vehicle play, tutorials, and news, so if you're looking for that sort of thing for Battlefield 2042, then feel free to join me as we ride the hype train together. Okay, so first of all, EA recently announced that throughout the month of July, there will be five different broadcasts, similar to the Battlefield broadcast we saw not that long ago with General Dice Manager Oscar Gabrielson and Senior Design Director Daniel Berlin, where we learned some new bits and pieces of info about Battlefield 2042. Now, not all of these five panels will be about Battlefield. However, the first one is entitled The Future of First Person Shooters, which will feature both Battlefield and Apex Legends. That will be shown on Thursday, July 8th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time or 7 p.m. Central European Time. Now, according to EA, it'll feature an extensive discussion on Apex Legends and Battlefield 2042, and it will include once again Mr. Oscar Gabrielson and also Dice LA's general manager, Christian Grass. So I recommend tuning into that if you're thirsty for some new info. I will be doing just that, so don't worry if you forget about it or you're busy playing out in the sun or whatever. I will no doubt make a little summary of all the information in a video. Now then, we also know from EA that early on in July there will be a technical grey box playtest taking place for Battlefield 2042 with a few select playtesters from within the community. So that could very well be going on this very second for all we know. Now the whole thing is of course under NDA and I can only imagine it looks something like this playtest from Battlefield 4 way back when. Not very impressive, so I don't think we're really missing all that much. However, you never know, maybe we might hear something from one of the testers that we didn't already know, so keep your eyes peeled for that. So that would then lead us up to EA Play on the 22nd. Now, a lot of questions have been asked about Battlefield 2042 since the reveal trailers, and I know we're all hoping to see some of them answered at EA Play. Of course, one thing we're definitely going to be seeing there is the currently unknown game mode being developed by DICE LA that is only described as a love letter to the Battlefield fans and long-time players. However, we have heard rumours that it's going to be this so-called Battlefield Hub mode, where you can play remastered versions of old Battlefield maps. Now, if you want to know more about that, I made a whole video on the rumour. There it is, up there in the corner. And then, of course, there's the other game mode, Hazard Zone, that is described as an all-new, high-stakes multiplayer experience that really sounds a lot like a battle royale, but according to DICE, it isn't. Now, I think DICE will want to keep some cards close to their chest, and since they've already promised to reveal DICE LA's mode at EA Play, I don't think we'll hear anything about Hazard Zone for the time being. However, one thing I do hope we hear something about is naval combat. Am I the only one that has been wondering what happened to the attack boats, the rib boats, the jet skis? I was even hoping to see some larger vessels like destroyers in this game given, you know, the player and map size. Is the water combat really gone for Battlefield 2042 or are EA just keeping that to themselves for now? It would be awesome if they showed us some new gameplay that showed off the boats on a map that heavily features water. If you actually look at this piece of artwork, there is a boat visible, although it doesn't really appear to be military, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Similarly, I've been wondering the same thing about the attack jets and other subcategories of vehicles. At the moment, we simply don't know if these vehicles are going to be in the game or if DICE are keeping some secrets and announcements in store for us. All in all, I just hope we're going to see some clean gameplay. I don't know if I'm the only one that thought this, but with the revealed gameplay trailer we saw, it was really cool, but there were so many cuts going on and such loud music playing that you couldn't exactly get a feel for what the gunplay feels like or what the sound design sounds like. I would love to just see 
you know, the perspective of a soldier with no cuts, no music, simply playing the game, getting into vehicles, using the vehicles, showing us the gunplay, etc. That's what I'm really hoping to see at EA Play. And finally, destruction. If you guys remember EA Play from last year, all we saw of Battlefield is that the team were working on something new and they showed this little clip of a building collapsing in the most spectacular way, leading many in the community, including myself, to believe that we would be seeing a new level of destruction, similar to Bad Company 2, but you know, on steroids, where you could destroy load-bearing walls to completely bring down an entire building. But so far we really haven't seen a glimpse of how the new Frostbite engine running Battlefield 2042 actually handles destruction, and I gotta say, I find that a little bit odd and a tiny bit worrying. So the entire show will be 40 minutes, which doesn't sound like a whole lot of time. It's almost certainly going to be pre-recorded stuff, but even so, EA has a lot of franchises to go over outside of Battlefield, like FIFA, Need for Speed, Star Wars, Dragon Age, Mass Effect and The Sims, but not all of those will be present, of course. Bioware announced that they will not be showing anything related to the new installments of Dragon Age or Mass Effect, and similarly, Need for Speed will probably be absent as well, since Criterion Games put that one on the back burner in order to focus on Battlefield. However, FIFA has also confirmed a presence there alongside Battlefield, so it's not just going to be a 40 minute long Battlefield extravaganza, unfortunately. As for the format, it could just be back-to-back -back trailers, it could be a single trailer with a developer panel afterwards, we honestly don't know, but whatever it is, I hope we learn something new about the game. If we do, I'll be making another video with all of that information, so keep it here on the channel guys, if you enjoyed this one, then hit up that like button, subscribe for more Battlefield, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.